Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today we are here to see how to implement MNMS in AWS EKS. So without any further delay, let's get started. So our today's agenda will be like intro to H2 MNMS, like what it is exactly and how it is different than the default Istio or Sidecar Istio version. We'll look into our architecture, few information related to that. Then we'll see how it works, like working of a uh, few concepts related to MNMS, how it works. And then we'll be directly jumping into the demo. So first thing first, what is Istio Ambient Mess? So Istio Ambient Mess is another kind of version uh, I'd say, or if not, not version, it's another flavor, basically, another flavor of Istio. So it in this one, we don't use any sidecar related things. Like if we know the default Istio uses sidecar, like it injects a sidecar container into the application pod. So application will have usually two containers. One will be application pod and one uh, application container, another will be sidecar container. And both combined together, one pod will be there. In case of ambient mesh, we need not to have any sidecar. So application container will, our application pod will have only one container, which will have the application container only. And that's where it is called also sidecar less data plane mode. So in this case, we don't use any sidecar. So all those sidecar related complexities like uh, like memory consumption, all those things will definitely bring down. So it will automatically come down when we start using this kind of setup. So how it works. So we know like uh, on my proxy, usually it process, it works on L7 and L4 layer of network. Ambient mode is kind of divided, like it divides that functionality into two parts, L4 and L7 functionality. L4 functionality is shifted from Envoy to Z tunnel. So definitely Envoy is having all those features still, but but in case of MNMS, it is divided into two parts. One is Z tunnel, which works on L4, and another one is Waypoint proxy, or it is Envoy simple, like same Envoy proxy is, is there, which works on L7, all L7 higher level advanced routing, all those things, network management, all those things can be done at that level. Why is it needed this way? Or what's the approach of this one? Or what's the thought in this one? So usually what happens, we need not to, or most of the cases, we need not to have all the functionality L4 and L7 for all the applications. So like most of the cases, we need only like to secure the channel. So MTLS is enough in that case. And we want to collect some metrics and all those things at, at L4 level. So that's where the G tunnel will be enough to establish the secure connection between all the nodes and we'll be able to secure the communication. Where, where we have to have higher level processing like routing based, all those things need to be done, header based, some like some decision need to be taken. There we can introduce waypoint proxy, which is nothing but another, like it is uh, Envoy proxy only. And we can apply rules, all those things there to have that higher level of uh, processing, advanced network and traffic management, all those things can be done. And one more advantage here is that we can have multiple waypoint proxy. If the load is increasing, we can have multiple, like multiple replicas we can create, which can handle the load. Okay, so this is a high level thing, how it works. So here, the Z tunnel architecture we will be seeing. So we can see here, so, So here we can see like Z tunnel, uh, it is a per node will have one Z tunnel, like it's a daemon set. It is installed on the, each and every node. So whenever a service is making request to a service, which is on another node, what happens? It goes through Z tunnel and then it passes through that HTTP, this uh, h -bone protocol, and then it reaches to another Z tunnel. And from that Z tunnel, it again goes to the service B. So that, that kind of, that 
that communication happens and this this communication channel is secured at node level security is established at this one so if we have, if you want to achieve only mtls so this z tunnel and default ambient mesh is enough for that but if we need to have advanced routing advanced uh, processing then we need to have a waypoint proxy so in that case what happens at waypoint proxy when we introduce it comes in between the z tunnel so the from g tunnel it goes to waypoint proxy it does the processing all those things and then again it routes back to the g tunnel of the another node if, if we need to go there and then it goes to the service so that's way we can have multiple waypoints like we can have different different combinations it depends like how we want to control the traffic and all and how we want to manage our services like if you want to have one waypoint proxy per service that is also possible we can have single waypoint proxy to have like multi managing multiple services so different different combinations are there and different different rules can be applied based on the requirements so it's it's like like it's a way configurable and a lot many things can be achieved and that too with the lower memory uses Okay, so this is high level waypoint proxy architecture. Now we'll be jumping into the demo. So what we will be seeing today, we will be installing Istio ambient mesh, like Istio in ambient mesh mode. Then we'll deploy two services. We'll try to communicate with each other. And even we'll try to access that those services outside of the cluster. Then we'll apply a few L4 authorization service, like to restrict the access to or restrict the access to a specific service like only a particular service is allowed to access that particular service. So, and then we will see the use of Waypoint Proxy, like it, it does uh, L7 related authorization policy, like where we can have even method level restrictions we can apply. Like if, if a particular service is allowed to get or, or put or head only, then, then that particular service will be able to do only that, not more than that. So all those things can be done at Waypoint Proxy level because it works at L7. That cannot be done at L4 level because that, that guy doesn't understand like uh, what is the HTTP protocol, okay? So now let's get started with the installation. So we can see it's a fresh EKS cluster. So we can check that. Keep CTL, get NS, there is nothing here. We'll be installing Istio. So we need to install Istio CTL, install. We need to use set profile, it's called to ambient. So this one, if we don't give this one, it will install the default Istio setup, which is sidecar mode. And if we install this one, it doesn't do any sidecar related thing. We can do that one, but I, th that is not the scope of uh, this session. So today we'll be discussing only about the ambient mesh setup. So we need to set the profile it call, it's called to ambient. So it, it installs few things like Z tunnel it will install, then it will, Istio CNI it will install, and uh, definitely the core and the Istio D will be installed. And if we need to have ingress related things that we need to set again here, by default, if we do only this much, then ingress will not be installed. We have multiple ways to access, like either we can use gateway API, like API gateway approach, gateway API, uh, that configuration, we can use that one to get the traffic inside the cluster, or we can use the Istio default one, which is the classic one. So today for this session, I'll be using the classic approach only so that I will be installing uh, Ingress as well. In future sessions, we will be covering on the, like how to use Gateway API instead of the classic uh, Istio Ingress. So that, that we will be co covering in the future. So for that also, we need to write set. Here we need to write what all the things we want. So we need to enable components dot components that uh, ingress gateway yes ingress gateways so we can have multiple so only one i'm installing now enabled is equal to true and then we need to give a name so again i'll be copying this one and i can give name
okay so here i need to give name and that i'll give istio ingress gateway fine now it will install all ambient related thing and plus it will install ingress gateway as well so let's hit enter it will install it will ask like what all the components it's okay let me check what went wrong here okay components some typo looks like yeah Yes. So see, here it is asking for Istio Core, Istio D, CNI, Z Tunnel, Ingress Gateway. If you don't give this set that at the end, whatever I have given, then that this Ingress Gateway will not be installed by default. Okay. And we are using currently the latest version of Istio release, which is 1.19.3. Okay. So I'm giving yes, it will install that. Let's wait, it should not take much time. It will be done within few minutes or even lesser than that. So HTOD installed, Z tunnel installed, CNA installed, Ingress gateway installed. Now it is clearing up and then we'll be ready. Okay, installation complete. Yeah, so now check. Get NS. We should have Istio system now. Yes, we have, and we can check the ports as well. Fine. So we can see here we have Istio CNI 2 because currently we have two nodes that I can show you. Give CTL, get nodes. So this currently this cluster is configured to have two nodes. So that's where we'll be seeing two CNIs here, demon set. As eternal also it is demon set. So we can see two. And definitely it will be running on, on two different nodes that we can even confirm that. So we can see that information here as well. So we can see both are running on different different nodes. Fine. So now Istio is ready for our use. Now let's do see some code what we are going to do. Okay. So I'll be deploying two services. Okay. Eco service one, eco service two. I'll try to access that within one of the like one of the application within the cluster from the cluster itself and then i'll try to access from the outside as, as well so for that i need to set up gateway to access that from the outside so first let's go and deploy this demo deployment one and deployment two okay i'll deploy from here Okay, give CTL. Something is wrong with my keyboard. Apply fun F demo deployment one. Let it complete. Oh. Sorry, my bad. That NS, that name space is not there. That's why, so we need to create that. Something is wrong today, again. Okay, so we can see here, we don't have ambient, so I'll create that uh, CTL. 
create NS ambient. This is done, and now we should be able to deploy. So for this demo, I'll be using like I'll be deploying everything inside that ambient namespace. Okay. Now let's deploy the second one as well. And let's see. So cube CTL get parts ambient. So here you can see we have two deployments, like two parts currently it's running. Okay, two different, uh, so yeah, the name we can see. Okay, now let's deploy a gateway and virtual service so that we can access it from the outside. So kubectl, apply, demo gateway, I'll show that code as well. So here it's a default, the classic, gateway classic istio gateway that i'm currently using i'm not using the gateway api or uh, uh, that kind of setup that will be keeping like we'll be covering that in the future but this is the default uh, istio or uh, the classic uh, uh, the istio ingress that, that we are using currently so here we can see we can have uh, like istio we are telling ingress gateway the port i'm listing 80 currently and then i'll deploy inside that ambient only so Let's go ahead and deploy that. So demo gateway. So once we have this one deployed, so we need to have virtual service so that we can route that request to a specific survey. So we saw like we had deployed two deployments and we it is, it is having services as well. So we can see that verify. So services, eco service one here, and we have here, eco server service two, okay. It is having service account name, hyphen two at the end, and this one is having one at the end, okay. So here we are listening on slash eco one, so which will be routed to service one. And if we are hitting Equal to, then it will be routed to service two. That, that will be seeing from the browser. So, kubectl i hyphen. So, demo virtual service. I'll apply now. Now, with this, we should be able to access the application from the outside of the cluster. So, let's try to get that IP or the name, DNS name. SVC Stio system. Okay, so here, in case of AWS, it doesn't give directly the IP, it gives a kind of host name, like a DNS name. So we can use this one to access our application. So let's, and we can see it is for the Stio ingress gateway. So I'll open one browser and try to access that. Okay, let me bring here. So we had eco one. Let's see if we are able to access or not. We are able to access here. We can verify that pod name also. So here deployment one we can see, and in case of two, we should be able to get the response from two. So here we can see deployment two. Okay, so both the services are up and running. Now, till now we haven't enabled issue related things. So this all those things was related only the routing and then we deployed all those things we did but that mtls and all all those things are currently not enabled it's directly going from ingress 
to service okay that we can verify quickly what we need to do we can check the z tunnel log okay so that we should be able to get what what all the things it is flowing through like whether it is the data is going through that or not for that let's do one thing let's try to get the label okay get parts Stio system so let's try to check this or oh, let's try to check this one get logs i'm just following app is equal to z tunnel let me check if this is the correct label or not it is inside sto system so we should be seeing logs from both so that's why i'm i'm logging using label instead of directly pod yeah so we are able to see the logs okay so let me fire through request i'm just marking it here so that any new logs will be coming here. Okay, let me do a few refreshes here. Yeah, I'm making the request. Now I'm making the request on service one as well. Now let's go there and check if we are getting anything. No, so currently nothing. So all those requests are not going to Z tunnel because those are not part of the ambient setup currently. So for that, we need to add those services into the ambient mesh. Then we'll start seeing the logs here, okay? Like it will start flowing the data using uh, like via Z tunnel. So that to add services or to onboard services, it's very simple. Even we need not to restart in this case, in case of ambient mesh. In the default Istio, what happens whenever we inject that one, that need to be restarted so that that Istio injects that, uh, that another container that uh, proxy container into the pod but here we need not to restart the application it it will be working just like that okay just we need to label that namespace and it, it should be up, up and running so for that we need to label kubectl label so as i was mentioning i'm using ambient uh, namespace for all those things so i'll be labeling that and it should be istio dot io slash data plane mode is equal to ambient as soon as i hit there so we'll be seeing some logs in the z tunnel so that use the proxy like all those information of the configuration it is pushed to Z tunnel so that now it is aware of all those things like these are the pod or these are the services running. I need to forward the data there. So let's hit and then see what happens. It is applied. We can see here. I had marked it here earlier. So now we can see client received all those things and now it is having that information. See it got the information okay so now i'm marking at the end here and i'll start refreshing the page again and we'll see what is happening okay i refreshed a couple of times and two i'm doing also okay So we can see here, we are seeing this one. Now this, this data is going via Z tunnel. All of those, those informations are now traveling. So what we need to do, so now it is onboarded, okay? We can see all this information, all those like data now it is traversing through, through the ambient mess, okay? Ambient mess Z tunnel that we can check. Even we now we can see here this NY related things information and all it's coming. Okay, we can verify that. 
it's fine. So now what I'll do, this one I'm trying to access from the outside. What I'll try to do now, I'll deploy another service. Okay, sleep. And I'll try to access from within the cluster and see what is happening and what all the things going through, okay? So let me apply that. So that, as I was mentioning, I'll show both. So currently we saw we, we are able to access from the outside and now it is part of the ambient mesh. Now I'll try to access those, those application within the cluster and see what's the like logging behavior and all. Okay, okay, it applied now. Give CTL, get pods. Yeah, so I let's check into this one. Ambient and then pass. Curl most likely it will not be there. Let me check. I'll install that. No issues. Okay. So curl. Fine. Let it install. Meanwhile, I'll show it's the service name so that we can access that. So here we have eco service. I'll try to access from within here. So call service one. Okay, I'm able to get all this information here. And we should be seeing those information here as well. So we can see. Here, data, it's going like local, it's all, all those, the data is now going via Z-Tunnel that, that we can see. Okay, so that's all like we saw, like uh, we are able to access within the cluster from outside of the cluster. So now the next part we will be seeing authorization, like if we want to restrict few or of the services or if you want to allow only few of the services to talk to a specific service, all those things can be done. So at L4 level also, we can achieve that and even at L7 level. So L4 level, we can restrict for any service, which is uh, like, which are not allowed that those can be restricted or, or whichever are only allowed, those can be like added to that so that it can access a specific service. So for that, let's do first the L4 level. So here, what we are trying to do, we are allowing only ingress gateway, okay, to access eco server app two, okay. So once, as soon as I apply this one, I will be able to access eco server one also, eco server two also, but what will happen as this eco server two is only accessible from ingress, I will not be able to access or I should not be able to access from here because there is a sleep application and it is not allowed to access so that service eco two, okay, or service two. So let's do that one. Give CTL. Okay, now it's done. Let's go and verify from the browser first if you are able to access or not. Eco one, eco two, both. Yes, eco one, we are able to access. Now let's go and check eco two. Yes, 
this one also we are able to access now let's get into the pod and try to check if we are able to access or not so here we should be still able to access one no issues with that let's see if we are able to access two or not no so here we can see disconnection reset by pair so it is not allowed so what we did or what we achieved by applying this one we restricted only ingress gateway to access this particular application or service no one else is allowed to access now so that way we can achieve or granularly control which all the services are only allowed to access or, or my service or all those things can be controlled okay so now we'll go one level up what if i want to allow a particular service to access my application but i want only to perform allow only a certain actions like uh http actions like rest actions like get put delete so i want only get kind of thing and i don't want to allow any other thing so that those can those all those things can be controlled with l7 because those are the http headers related things and at l4 level those informations are not kind of uh, controlled or basically it will not be able to understand that so definitely we need at l7 processing someone should be understanding that l7 level protocol so for that we will be installing uh, waypoint proxy and there we will be trying to control those in uh, those kind of behavior okay so for that i'll install waypoint proxy but for that before that i need to deploy crd uh, gateway api crd so that like waypoint proxy uses that gateway gateway api uh, crd so for that i need to install that we can directly install we using customize as well so here i are i have already downloaded that version here i'll i'll be applying directly this kubectl apply gateway api okay and after that we should be able to create waypoint proxy and we should be able to control uh, that l7 related behavior okay so here we can see like we can control the get and all all those things we will be seeing in action no need to worry so currently we saw that because this is service one was getting access by both after applying like after creating this waypoint and all we will be restricting this one to only allow by sleep and that to only get not uh, any other action other than like uh, methods allowed so for that now we'll be creating waypoint proxy to create waypoint proxy we need to have command sto ctl or x v point mm -hmm. sorry apply i need to give service for which service account it is something is definitely wrong today go check out okay i need to give which service account i want to link this one with so i'll be doing that one for service one okay so let me do this one or oh, let me take it from here and all these things we are doing inside the ambient namespace so again ambient so what it does it will create waypoint proxy it will create related services that will be able to see so let's create and we see all those things okay it is applied now we can verify that it should be created or here only we can have okay. kubectl 
get gateway that we can see it should be programmed true like it is up and running that then we can use it gateway uh, let's see all it should be only one for now yes so we have ambient namespace this is a waypoint proxy we created okay the class is istio waypoint that we can have a native now it is programmed true so we should be able to use it okay so now we will be applying this demo authorization l7 okay and after that once we apply this one we should be able to access service one or eco one service one from the sleep only from the browser now it is not allowed because we are not allowing that and from sleep also it is only allowing get so if you try to get head and all it should not be working okay so keep it here try one f okay it's done now let's go and try to access from here service two anyway it will be same behavior because we have already restricted that one from that l4 related thing yeah service one we are able to access okay now let's go ahead and try to access from the browser and see if we are able to access or not Eco service two definitely yes, no change there. Eco service one now let's check. Access denied. So now it it kind of stopped or it's not allowing to access service one from the ingress because we didn't allow that. We allowed only sleep service. So that's where we are able to access service one from the sleep. But when we are using curl, it is sending only that uh, like it is sending get get request if we try to have head request and all it will not be allowed or, or any other request so now i'm trying to get the head it should not be allowing me so let's see yes so we can see here i fired the same service but with the head hyphen i is head and i'm getting forbidden because we had only allowed get okay if you want to see in action, like whether that's correct or not, let me add here, head. And we should be getting that information there. Okay, done. Browser behavior still should be the same. Yeah, access denied. Here, service uh, still same, we should be able to access. Now let's check head if it's working or not. Now it's 200, okay. So now we saw how we enabled a specific method at this level. So as we know, the, these are the L7 related information that this will, will not be able to control that in L4 level. So that's where we need to have L7 related and that we achieved using Waypoint Proxy. So that's all for today's session. If anything is there or if any question, if you have any question at any point of time, feel free to reach out to us at contact at ims.ai. Thank you, everyone.